The Mr. Beast X video saga, which is not a porn thing, ended in the funniest way possible this week. He uploaded a full length video of his to X, the everything app, and then revealed how much money he made from it. And this has made a lot of people very crazy because they're now realizing that they're not making nearly as much money as Mr. Beast is. Here's how Mr. Beast broke Elon Musk's pyramid scheme. It all began last week when Gen Z's favorite Al Borland cosplayer uploaded a video to X, the everything app. Elon Musk is treating the video like a massive victory, but for Mr. Beast, it was an experiment that may already be a failure for everyone involved. Mr. Beast uploaded this video to X on January 15th. It's titled One Versus a Hundred Million Dollar Car, and it's exactly what it sounds like. One dollar car! One dollar car! But the upload was the result of a ton of public discussion between Mr. Beast and Musk. Recently, Musk's main strategy to grow X as a platform has been to focus on long-form videos as a way to sell more ads. You see, this is a bit of spin that Musk is doing because he's trying to reframe his tremendous failure at running the site as actually just the normal growing pains of a website that's transitioning from Twitter to a young, scrappy upstart that's going to compete with YouTube and TikTok. That's why a post on January 9th from the company's official blog said X is now a video first platform. Just in case you're trying to keep up at home, uh, X is a everything app that is also for videos now, okay? Anyways, as part of that effort, Musk spent weeks pathetically begging Mr. Beast to post his videos directly on X instead of just linking to them on YouTube. Mr. Beast eventually replied that X doesn't pay enough to be worth his time even if his videos got billions of views. And then finally, Mr. Beast uploaded the car video. And Musk has been spinning the direct upload as a big win to celebrate, though neither he or Mr. Beast have acknowledged that it wasn't an exclusive video for X, nor was it even a new video. It was something that premiered on Mr. Beast's YouTube channel back in September. He also doesn't appear to be all the way in on X yet, even going so far as to call the video a test of how much ad revenue he might get. But beyond that, it was a useful way to measure X's current level of decay. Mr. Beast's original car video on YouTube got around 212 million views over four months. The X re-upload got 157 million views over seven days, which seems pretty good until you realize those are the views for the X post the video was embedded in. By the way, while we're talking about metrics, it definitely doesn't seem like an accident that right when X decided it was all about videos, it stopped providing the actual number of views that videos had on the platform. I'm also trying very hard not to refer to any of these as X videos because that means a very different thing. As of January 22nd, Mr. Beast's video post only got around 58,000 reposts and replies, which means a rough average of 2,700 passive views for every time someone actively shared it. How do those numbers add up? Well, I mean, they don't. <laughs> After the video went live, people quickly realized that it was in fact getting paid promotion on the site as an ad. That means the video isn't really a useful experiment at all here, but there's a bigger problem. There was no label or disclosure about the post being promoted as an ad, which is illegal in most countries, including the US. I was able to speak to someone who works at X who explained to me what was going on, and it's very confusing. Uh, try to keep up. Mr. Beast video has a pre-roll ad. When a video on X has one of these ads, it gets boosted the same way a regular paid post would be, but without the label. Technically, this is allowed since the actual ad is correctly labeled when you see it before the video. <sighs> Got all that? Uh, I mean, I hope the FTC does, though apparently Musk doesn't. He posted that he didn't know anything about any amplification on the video when we know for a fact that it was happening. It turns out X has been doing this sneaky little trick for a while though, actually. In fact, digital advertising watchdog Check My Ads has even filed an FTC complaint about this after they noticed it last fall. Mr. Beast seems to be a little more in the know since he eventually said that the ad revenue he got from the video was a bit of a facade. Mr. Beast screenshot his earnings from the video and revealed that he made about $260,000 from 150 million impressions, which is pretty good. Uh, in fact, it's a lot better than most people are doing on X. 
It's also probably worth noting here that Mr. Beast and Shopify have a long-standing relationship. Last year, Mr. Beast climbed a mountain in Antarctica and planted a Shopify flag at the top of it. We just conquered Shopify. Go to shopify.com slash behind beast to watch my exclusive interview with Shopify. This is now Shopify Mountain. Which is so cool. I love content. Content is great. Even then, he didn't seem to be aware of the ad deal at all, meaning his whole experiment won't have any useful results to speak of. Even if Mr. Beast uploads more videos, there's no guarantee that he'll make a similar amount of ad revenue unless someone makes a similar deal on X. And if you're another creator who hasn't already taken over YouTube enough to get Musk's attention, forget about it. And as Check My Ads noted in a new blog post this week, if Shopify, a once again, long-standing business partner of Mr. Beast can pay some money to amplify his content across the entire social network. Just think what a political bad actor could do in, say, I don't know, an election year? Uh, well, okay, uh, instead of dwelling on the horrors that that might bring to our very fragile democracy, let's focus on the funnier stuff here. The right-wing mole people that live in the digital sewer system that is X, the ones that are dutifully holding up Elon Musk's pyramid scheme by paying him some money every month to hopefully get a cut of the advertising revenue, are now beginning to realize how rigged this whole thing is. The QAnon shamans, the wow, this is so crazy, video guys, the OnlyFans models, the men's rights, sovereign state podcaster guys, they're all beginning to wonder exactly what they're paying for because none of them are making nearly as much money as Mr. Beast did. Uh, well, okay, maybe the OnlyFans models. I, I think they're probably doing pretty good. The most interesting thing about all this, though, is how differently Mr. Beast and Musk approach the internet. For folks who only know Mr. Beast as the open mouth thumbnail man, you might not realize he's optimizing his videos for maximum views on each platform he posts on. He creates separate, carefully crafted edits for each video of his that goes on TikTok, Instagram, and even Facebook. Meanwhile, Musk has the complete opposite philosophy. He just assumes the internet and reality will bend to whatever insane whim he comes up with. Musk's X premium scam that he's been running relies on on his ability to con the last people left on the internet who still believe in the 2010s promise of the web. This idea that anyone can be a creator and everyone can share their voice online and you can turn your hobby into a business just by making content. None of that was ever true. It certainly isn't true now and it definitely isn't true now on X. And it shouldn't be surprising that the only people who are willing to pay Elon Musk for the privilege of grinding out internet traffic by posting the lowest common denominator content on his fledgling social network are the people without the skill, the know-how, or the ethics to do it somewhere else where they can get paid a lot better. Given all that, it's easy to see why Mr. Beast, who exclusively makes family-friendly content aimed at tweens, isn't jumping at the chance to make money off the platform. It's also easy to see why Musk is trying so hard to push the narrative that X isn't a failing social network, but the beginning of a video app that can compete with YouTube. He's scrambling to keep investors from repossessing the site, and so the company is inflating Mr. Beast's numbers to seem more popular and to attract more creators, just like they did earlier last year with the more general monetization rollout. Mr. Beast was an awful test case for Musk, though, since he's built an entire career off converting internet traffic into ad revenue by obsessively measuring how different platforms print money. And of course, when Mr. Beast decides to post on X, he doesn't need this pyramid scheme. He's, he's, he's pretty good on his own. And so, of course, he immediately breaks the facade, and the illusion is now beginning to crumble. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, you know, the usual. Leave a comment if you want to see more of a particular topic. I want to thank my producer and researcher, Adam Boomis, for helping me put this video together. And uh, yeah, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.